सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट नेशनल करिकुलम फ्रेमवर्क ट्वेंटी पार्ट ए अप्रोच पेज नंबर 130, चैप्टर 4, टाइम एलोकेशन टाइम इज एन इनवैल्यूएबल रिसोर्स इन एवरी स्कूल thus the allocation of time to different activities and areas of learning often referred to as the timetable must be carried out very carefully it must consider practical aspects such as timetable but also must enable the operationalization of the curriculum including its priorities and balance This section describes the principles and approach to time allocation in a school that would bring this NCF to life. The specific time allocations described in this section must be seen as illustrative and the actual time allocations must be conducted by schools in accordance with their contexts using these principles and approach. Now, we have a picture for you. it has four images in the first one which is at the top there is a young student checking some paintings in the second image a banner which reads class 5 skit competition and there are some students participating in that in the next image we have two girls and at the back we have a banner which says school day class 9 exhibition the two girls are participating in that exhibition Now in the fourth and the final image we see three students participating in an activity page number 131 section 4.1 considerations for reduction of content load as mentioned in NEP 2020 and discussed earlier in figure 3.2 care has been taken to ensure a reduction in the content load across curricular areas while designing the learning standards of this ncf this reduction in the content load across the stages has been chalked out with the following considerations a adequate time and space must be created for the development of genuine conceptual understanding and of the development of capacities rather than mere procedural or rote learning which often occurs due to content overload requisite space and time are needed for the curricular areas that have renewed focus and emphasis like art education physical education and vocational education often these areas have earlier been considered co-curricular or not important without or inadequate specific learning standards and expectations in this ncf they need explicit and significant time allocation c the teaching time available in a working day over an academic year for various curricular areas and their distribution in a weeks timetable is limited and poses a challenge to the achievement of content knowledge focused learning these three factors imply that the content load in some curricular areas need to be rationalized and reduced this will ensure both that these curricular areas are learned meaningfully and that space is created for other curricular areas a the curriculum has been designed with an explicit focus on a range of essential competencies and not coverage of content knowledge hence the content load in terms of the amount of content to be learned in a particular school stage has been reduced this also means that the competencies must be viewed as the core essentials and the overall time available must enable their achievement b the illustrative time table given later in this section might show an increased amount of time in the working day and week when compared to the existing school time this increase in the number of daily hours at school does not directly indicate a heavier content load in individual curricular areas 
the actual decision on the exact number of working hours would be taken by schools or school systems and the proportion and rhythm of the illustrative timetable in the ncf could still be held c in the illustrative timetable given here curricular areas such as languages mathematics science and social science may show a lower number of annual hours apportioned to them compared to the number of hours they may have received earlier in school this has been made possible by focusing on the core essentials in terms of competencies as in the learning standards in these areas page number 132 Some of the points relevant to specific curricular areas for the design choices made to reduce content are as follows. A. In science, the focus on essential capacities of scientific inquiry allows for rationalization of content. The concepts are therefore chosen based on the opportunities they provide for developing these capacities. Thus, reducing content load b in mathematics whatever is specialized prerequisite knowledge for certain types of higher education needs has been moved out from the compulsory curricular content to the choice based curriculum in the secondary stage while retaining all concepts or areas that are foundational to the subject c In social science the approach based on themes and levels ensures the learning of essential competencies while reducing content load d in language education there are three languages to be learnt in school education through grade 10 a range of literacy curricular goals are transferable from a known language to the learning of unfamiliar languages and those that are specialized linguistic and literary goals have been moved to the choice based curricular areas of the secondary stage keeping only the core essential competencies until grade 10 section 4.2 foundational stage young children enjoy using their free time to explore their immediate environment however as they grow older they also need organized structured and guided activities that are play based the day needs to be carefully organized so that all developmental domains receive adequate time and attention while activities of each domain are connected with other domains example a good story will help language development as well as socio emotional and ethical development the routine must ensure that children get ample opportunity for a range of experiences in every domain 4.2.1 considerations for the daily routine the organization of the day is based on the institutional setting the number of working days and the number of daily working hours for each day each activity may be planned keeping in mind the attention span of the child there may be a balance between child initiated and teacher guided activities group whole group or small group and individual or pair activities and alternating activities example quieter activity after physical activity group activity after individual activity indoor activity after outdoor activity art and craft outdoor play and free play must have adequate time and focus in the day 4.2.1.1 illustrative daily routine for ages 3 to 6 there are multiple ways to organize the daily routine for children of ages 3 to 6 page number 133 two illustrations are given here the first illustration is more appropriate in contexts where experiences such as circle time and concept of pre numeracy time are teacher guided and free play and corners time are independent activities for the children table 4.2.2 
4.2i. Now, we have a table for you here. It has four columns. The first one is from, the second as to, the third is duration, and finally the fourth one is activity. The timetable is divided into morning routine or free play or corners time. Now, in the column from, the first time is 9.30. In the two, it is 10.15. Duration, 45 minutes. Activity, circle time or conversation. In the second row, in the from time, it is 10.15. Two, 10.30, duration 15 minutes, activity, snack break. Next, from time is 10.30 to 10.45, duration 15 minutes, activity, rhyme or song or music or movement. In the next column, from is 10.45 to 11.45, duration 1 hour. Activity, concept time or pre-numeracy. Next is 11.45 to 12.15, duration 30 minutes. Activity, art or craft or free play. Next, from is 12.15 to 1300 hours, duration 45 minutes. Activity, Corners time. Next, from 1300 hours to 1345 hours. Duration is 45 minutes. Lunch break. Ages 3 to 4, go home. The next is 1345 hours to 1430 hours. Duration, 45 minutes. Activity, Emergent Literacy or Story Time. And finally, from 1430 hours to 1500 hours, duration is 30 minutes. Activity is Outdoor Play and Wind Up. The second illustration is more appropriate in contexts with fewer children and where there is a range of appropriate material available for them to use. Emphasis is on self-learning and children learn to use materials independently and with care. Work time is allotted for children to independently choose the activity they would like to engage with. Children select activities of their choice and work with materials on those activities independently. Teachers observe children's activities and extend support as and when required. Teachers also decide and present the next activity to an individual child based on their observation during work time. Activities and the corresponding materials are arranged according to the domains of development example, physical, cognitive, language, art and children are made familiar with this arrangement. Now, we have one more table for you. Table number 4.2.2. This table has four columns. Again, the first one is from, the next one is to, the third one is duration, and finally the fourth one is activity. This shows morning routine plus silent game. Now, the first time slot starts with 9.30 to 10.15. Duration is 45 minutes. Activity circle time, conversation, songs, poems. Next is 10.15 to 10.30. Duration is 15 minutes. Activity, snack break. Next is from 10.30 to 12.15. Duration, 1 hour, 45 minutes. Activity, work time. The next starts from 12.15 to 1300 hours. Duration is 45 minutes. Activity, art, crafts, sports or 
free play. The next one is from 1300 hours to 1345 hours. Duration, 45 minutes. Activity, lunch break. Ages 3 to 4, go home. And finally, from 1345 hours to 1500 hours, duration, 1 hour, 15 minutes. Activity, language and emergent literacy. Ages 4 to 6. Page number 134. Both the illustrations have a five and a half hour school day with about four and a half hours of active instructional time for children of ages four to six. 4.2.1.2 Illustrative daily or weekly routine for ages six to eight. The daily routine for ages six to eight would be slightly longer and a little more structured. While all language classes for children 3 to 6 years can be handled together, for this age group, dedicated time for each language is necessary. Specific blocks of time for literacy, numeracy and art can be incorporated. R1 would need 90 minutes every day and R2 would need 60 minutes. Mathematics and numeracy would require 60 minutes a day. These periods of time can be organized into four blocks. Now, we have one more table for you. 4.2 III. This again has four columns. The first heading is from, followed by to, then duration, and finally activity. The first one is from 9 to 9.30. Duration is 30 minutes. Activity, circle time. Song or movement. The next one is from 9.30 to 10. Duration is 30 minutes. Activity R1. Oral language. The next one is from 10 to 10.30. Duration 30 minutes. Activity R1. Word recognition. The next one is from 10.20 to 10.35. Duration, 15 minutes. Activity, snack time. The next one starts from 10.35 to 11.35. Duration, 1 hour. Activity, mathematics. The next one is from 11.35 to 12.05. Duration, 30 minutes. Activity, Arts and Crafts. The next one is from 12.05 to 12.45. Duration, 30 minutes. Activity, R1. Reading or Writing. The next one is from 12.45 to 13.30 hours. Duration is 45 minutes. Activity, lunch break. The next one is from 13.30 hours to 14.30 hours. Duration is one hour. Activity, R2, oral language, word recognition. And finally, it is from 14.30 to 1500 hours. Duration, 30 minutes. Activity, play. A longer day would allow more time for activities such as art, sports and gardening. The illustrative weekly timetable given here allows for such possibilities. As mentioned earlier, mathematics and R1 would include activities in blocks of time. Now, we have one more table for you. Table 4.24. Now, this timetable has many columns. The first one is from, the second one is to, the next one is Monday, then followed by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and finally Friday. In the from column, the first time is 9, 2, 10 a.m., Monday, Maths, Tuesday, Maths, 
Wednesday, R2. Thursday, Math. Friday, R2. Next, from 10 to 10.45, Monday, R1. Tuesday, R1. Wednesday, again R1. Thursday, R1. Friday, R1. Next, 10.45 to 11. From Monday till Friday, it is snack time. Next, from 11 to 12. From Monday to Friday, it is R1. Now, next, from 12 to 1300 hours, Monday, it is R2. Tuesday, again R2. Wednesday, it is Maths. Thursday, R2. And finally, on Friday, it's Art. Now, from 1300 hours to 1345 hours, Monday to Friday, it's lunch. Now, from 1345 to 1445, Monday, it's art, Tuesday, maths, Wednesday, art, Thursday, again art, and on Friday, it's maths. Finally, from 1445 to 15.30 hours, Monday, Library, Tuesday, Gardening, Wednesday, Sports, Thursday, again Gardening, and finally on Friday, it's Sports Time. Page number 135, Section 4.3 Considerations for Time Allocation Across Preparatory, Middle and Secondary Stages A. The annual working year for schools has 220 instruction or school going days after taking into consideration national holidays, term breaks and vacations. B. Of these 220 days, around 20 days may be considered for assessments and other assessment related activities across stages. C. Another 20 days may be set aside for school events and other similar activities or as a buffer for less foreseeable events in schools. The 10 bagless days mandated by NEP 2020 can come from these 20 days spread across the year for the middle and secondary stage students. D. Therefore, a safe estimate can be of 180 days of instruction time across these three stages at school. E. Given the wide range of contexts in which schools operate across the country, a working school week has been taken as five and a half days, with Saturdays as half working days. F. Since not all Saturdays are likely to be working for all students, the model here has considered five and a half days of school every alternate week only. G. Given the range of subjects in the different stages and the reasonable number of hours students can spend in school, a working school year would have around 34 working weeks of around 29 hours of instruction hours every week. H. The exact timings and order of subjects may be chosen to be the same each day. Example, language and mathematics in the morning after a nutritious breakfast in order to establish a daily rhythm for students or they may be varied on a weekly basis to give different subjects different priorities each day within the time schedule. What works best for each school would depend on the local context, on whether breakfast or snacks can be offered to all students each morning, on the daylight hours in the local region, etc. Section 4.4 Stage Specific Considerations 4.4.1 Time Allocation for the Preparatory Stage A. Weekdays begin with an assembly for 25 minutes with 5 minutes to reach the classroom. B. 
क्लास टाइम फॉर ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स इज 40 मिनट्स सम सब्जेक्ट्स विल रिक्वायर अ ब्लॉक पीरियड ऑफ 80 मिनट्स 1 आवर 20 मिनट्स सी द ट्रांजिशन टाइम फॉर स्टूडेंट्स टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्लास इज 5 मिनट्स डी द टू वर्किंग सैटरडेज अ मंथ हैव अ स्लाइटली डिफरेंट शेड्यूल कंपेयर टू अदर वर्किंग वीकडेज नो असेंबली ऑन सैटरडेज पेज नंबर 136 ई अ स्नैक ब्रेक ऑफ 15 मिनट्स एंड अ लंच ब्रेक ऑफ 45 मिनट्स हैज बीन बिल्ट इन सी द इलस्ट्रेटिव टाइम टेबल ऑन वीकडेज लंच इज 30 मिनट्स ऑन सैटरडेज एफ आर वन लैंग्वेज हैज करिकुलर गोल्स फॉर द लाइब्रेरी बिल्ट इन टू इट इन द डिजाइन ऑफ लर्निंग स्टैंडर्ड्स therefore the time is shared between these two subjects on the timetable g languages r1 and r2 together have been given adequate time for students to become independent readers and writers in these as the basis of learning other curricular areas h R2 has been given more time than R1 as gaining proficiency in the language by the end of this stage will require additional time also all other curricular areas are taught in the language of R1 and so add to the learning of R1 i the world around us t w a u has also been given adequate time as the preparatory stage is a developmentally critical time to learn essential multidisciplinary skills of inquiring about and learning from the world around the students i art education and physical education pe have been given a fair share of their time considering the learning standards built into this curriculum framework now we have another table for you table 4.41 this table has three columns the heading of the first column is preparatory the heading of the second column is annual hours and finally for the third column it is annual periods now under preparatory the first row is r1 plus library under annual hours it is 180 annual periods it is 270 the next is r2 annual hours 190 annual periods 285 next mathematics maths annual hours 185 annual periods 277.5 next is the world around us t w a u annual hours 200 annual periods 300 the next is art education art annual hours 100 annual periods 150 and finally physical education p e annual hours 100 annual periods 150 number of classes in each subject on the illustrative time table c table 4.411 matches these numbers approximately 4.4.2 time allocation for the middle stage a the week day begins with an assembly for 25 minutes with 5 minutes to reach the classroom b class time for all subjects is 40 minutes some subjects will require a block period of 80 minutes 1 hour 20 minutes for activities lab work and other such pedagogic requirements c the transition time for students to prepare for the next class is 5 minutes d the two working saturdays a month have a slightly different schedule compared to other working weekdays no assembly on saturdays e 
a snack break of 15 minutes and a lunch break of 45 minutes has been built in see the illustrative timetable on weekdays lunch is 30 minutes on saturdays f r1 language has curricular goals for the library built into it in the design of learning standards therefore the time is shared between these two subjects on the timetable page number 137 now we have another table for you 4.411 this is an illustrative timetable for the preparatory stage two working saturdays in this timetable the first column is time hours the next column is for monday followed by tuesday then wednesday thursday friday and finally it is saturday now the time for the first period is from 8:30 to 8:55 on monday it is time for assembly during this time on tuesday wednesday thursday and friday we will have assembly on saturday the time is from 8:30 to 9:10 but on saturday this time will not be utilized for assembly instead we'll have twau that is the world around us now the next period is from 9 to 940 on monday it is r1 tuesday again r1 wednesday r1 thursday r1 but on friday this time will be utilized for r2 saturday the time changes it is from 9 15 to 9 55 again we'll have twau the world around us the next period is from 9 45 to 10 25 on monday it's time for r1 tuesday this will be utilized in library wednesday r1 thursday again time for library friday r2 saturday this time starts from 9 55 till 10 15 and this will be utilized as snack break the next period is from 10 30 to 10 45 from monday till friday this will be a snack break on saturday this time changes to 10 20 to 11 and the activity will be r2 next 10 50 to 11 30 monday maths tuesday maths wednesday r2 thursday again maths and friday once again it is maths on saturday the time changes now it will be from 11 5 to 11 45 and it will be utilized for art the next period is from 11 35 to 12 5 monday and tuesday it is time for maths wednesday for r2 and again thursday friday we'll have maths on saturday the time changes it starts from 11 50 to 12 30. it will be utilized for pe physical education the next period is 12 5 to 12 50. monday through friday this will be utilized as lunch or lunch period saturday the time changes from 12 30 to 1300 hours again this will be utilized for lunch the next period is from 12 50 to 13 30 hours on monday we will have twau tuesday r2 wednesday twau thursday r2 and friday once again twau next period 13 35 hours to 14 15 hours monday twau tuesday r2 wednesday twau thursday r2 and friday twau the next period is from 14 20 to 1500 hours monday pe tuesday art wednesday 
art thursday t w a u and finally on friday p e next and the final period 1505 hours to 1545 hours monday p e tuesday art wednesday art thursday t w a u and friday p e 4.4 This is an illustrative timetable for the middle stage with two working Saturdays. The first column starts with time and followed by the weekdays Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. The first period starts from 8:30 and continues till 8:55. On Monday, this is time for assembly and similarly it is time for assembly on tuesday wednesday thursday friday but on saturday the time changes it is from 8:30 to 9:10 and this time will be utilized for library the next period is from 9 to 9:40 monday it's r1 tuesday maths wednesday thursday and friday all these days it's time for maths on saturday it is from 9:15 to 9:55 once again the time will be utilized in the library next period is from 9:45 to 10:25 monday and tuesday it is r2 wednesday r1 thursday maths and friday r1 once again the time changes on saturday it is from 9:55 to 10:15 it is snack break Next period is from 10:30 to 10:45. Monday through Friday it is time for snack break. Whereas on Saturday the time changes from 10:20 to 11. This time will be utilized for VE, vocational education. The next period is from 10:50 to 11:30. Monday to Friday it is time for SS. social studies saturday the time starts from 11:05 and goes till 11:45 time for art the next is 11:35 to 12:05 monday it is time for social studies ss tuesday science wednesday ss thursday and friday science on saturday This period starts from 11:50 and goes till 12:30. Activity PE Physical Education. Now the next period 12:5 to 12:50. Monday through Friday this is lunch time. On Saturday the period starts at 12:30 and goes till 1300 hours. Once again this is time for lunch. The next period is 12:50 till 13:30 hours. Monday it's time for science, Tuesday art, Wednesday science, Thursday art and Friday R2. Next period 13:35 to 14:15 hours. Monday science, Tuesday art, Wednesday science, Thursday art and Friday R3 Next period is from 1420 to 1500 hours Monday it's time for PE physical education Tuesday VE vocational education Wednesday R3 Thursday PE Friday VE Now moving to the final period this will start at 155 and will go till 1545 hours Monday it's time for PE Tuesday VE Wednesday R3 Thursday PE and Friday VE page number 138 G a third language R3 gets introduced in the middle stage and requires an adequate amount of time to develop basic interpersonal communication skills R3 has been given more time than R2 and R1 as the learning of a third unfamiliar language in the middle stage requires adequate time and practice. 
एच साइंस सोशल साइंस एंड वोकेशनल एजुकेशन एज न्यू कारिकुलर एरियाज हैव बीन गिवन अ फेयर शेयर ऑफ देयर टाइम कंसिडरिंग द लर्निंग स्टैंडर्ड बिल्ट इन टू दिस कारिकुलम फ्रेमवर्क नाउ वी हैव वन मोर टेबल फोर पॉइंट फोर वन 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 दिस टेबल हैज थ्री कॉलम्स द हेडिंग ऑफ द फर्स्ट कॉलम इज मिडल द सेकेंड कॉलम्स हेडिंग इज annual hours and finally the heading of the third column is annual periods now the first row is r1 plus library annual hours 65 annual periods 97.5 next row r2 annual hours 70 annual periods 105 third r3 annual hours 75 annual periods 112.5 mathematics maths annual hours 115 annual periods 172.5 next science annual hours 160 annual periods 240 social science ss annual hours 160 annual periods 240 art education art annual hours 100 annual periods 150 physical education pe annual hours 100 annual periods 150 and finally vocational education ve annual hours 110 and annual periods 165 number of classes in each subject on the illustrative timetable please refer table 4.414 matches these numbers approximately 4.4.3 time allocation for the secondary stage a The weekday begins with an assembly for 25 minutes with 5 minutes to reach the classroom. B. Class time for all subjects is 50 minutes. Some subjects will require a block period of 100 minutes, 1 hour 40 minutes for hands-on work, activities, lab work and other such pedagogic requirements. C. The transition time for students to prepare for the next class is 5 minutes. D. The two working Saturdays a month have a slightly different schedule compared to other working weekdays. E. A lunch break of 55 minutes has been built in. See the illustrative timetable on weekdays and 30 minutes on Saturdays. F. There is an optional additional enrichment period AEP every evening and on the two working Saturdays after class. This is for students to use as additional time for enrichment in any subject of the curriculum. In curricular areas such as art education, physical education and well-being and vocational education extended time for group or team practice inter school competitions subject clubs etc can be facilitated by the school in aep if students choose to participate page number 139 table 4.46 now we have one more timetable for you this is illustrative timetable for the secondary stage grades 9 and 10 The timetable has 8 columns. The heading of the first column is time, followed by the weekdays and Saturday. The first period starts at 8 and goes on till 8:25. During this time, from Monday to Friday, we will have assembly. On Saturday, the time starts at 8 but continues till 8:50. This will be utilized for ss social studies the next is from 8:30 to 9:20 monday it's time for r1 tuesday it's time for r2 wednesday it's time for maths 
Thursday, it's time for R2. Friday, for R1. On Saturday, the time changes. The period starts from 8.55 and continues till 9.45. This will be utilized for IDA. The next period is from 9.25 to 10.15. Monday, it will be utilized for Maths. Tuesday, Maths. Wednesday, Maths. Thursday, again Maths. But on Friday, this will be utilized for R3. On Saturday, this time changes. It starts from 9.50 and goes on till 10.40. This time will be utilized for R2. The next period is 10.20 and goes on till 11.10. Monday, Art. Tuesday, Science. Wednesday, Science. Thursday, again Science. And Friday, Art. Saturday, this period is from 10.45 to 11.35. This will be utilized for R3. The next period is from 11.15 to 12.05. Monday, Art. Tuesday, PE. Wednesday, Science. Thursday, again Science. And Friday, Art. Saturday, the time starts from 11.40 and goes till 12.30. This time will be utilized for R1. From 12.05 in the afternoon till 1300 hours, Monday through Friday, it is lunch time. And the same goes for Saturday, but the time changes. Now it is from 12.30 to 1300 hours. Next period is from 1300 hours Till 1350 hours. Monday to Friday, this time will be utilized for SS, that is social studies. On Saturday, this time starts from 1305 hours till 1355 hours. This will be utilized for AEP, that is additional enrichment period. The next period starts at 13.55 hours and continues till 14.45 hours. Monday, IDA. Tuesday, VE. Wednesday, PE. Thursday, again VE. Friday, IDA. The next period starts at 14.50 hours and goes on till 15.40 hours. Monday, IDA. Tuesday, VE. Wednesday, PE, Thursday, VE, Friday, IDA. And finally, the last period. This will start at 15.45 hours and will go on till 16.35 hours. Monday to Friday, this will be utilized for AEP, that is, Additional Enrichment Period. Now, moving forward, we have a box. Box number 4.41 10 Bagless Days Every student will take a fun course during grades 6 to 8 that gives a survey and hands-on experience of a sampling of important vocational crafts such as carpentry, electric work, metal work, gardening, pottery making, etc., as decided by states and local communities and as mapped by local skilling needs. A practice-based curriculum for grades 6 to 8 will be appropriately designed by NCERT while framing the NCFSE 2020-21. All students will participate in a 10-day bagless period sometime during grades where they intern with local vocational experts such as carpenters, gardeners, potters, artists, etc. Similar internship opportunities to learn vocational subjects may be made available to students throughout grades 6 to 12, including holiday periods. Vocational courses through online mode will also be made available. 
bagless days will be encouraged throughout the year for various types of enrichment activities involving the arts, quizzes, sports and vocational crafts. Children will be given periodic exposure to activities outside school through visits to places or monuments of historical, cultural and tourist importance, meeting local artists and craftsmen and visits higher educational institutions in their village or tehsil or district or state. NEP 2020-4.26 Learning in school is not limited to the experiences in the classroom. Recognizing and legitimizing this possibility, NEP 2020 has stated that provisions be made in the annual calendar of schools for 10 bagless days in the middle and secondary stages where students do not have to carry their books to school and use that time valuably in learning from local professionals from various walks of life and engage with various educational activities such as vocational crafts and field trips. The illustrative timetable given here in this NCF has accounted for these 10 bagless days in the 20 days kept aside for school events. Page number 140 G there is no separate library time built into the timetable. Students may use time from the AEP for this purpose. H. All three languages R1, R2 and R3 will continue in this stage. By the end of grade 10, schools will ensure the development of the capacity for basic communication for social purposes in R1, R2 and R3 and linguistic proficiency for academic use in the classrooms in R1 and R2 and to the extent possible in R3. I. Interdisciplinary Areas IDA is a new curricular area and has been given a reasonable share of time on the timetable. Now, we have one more table for you. Table number 4.45 This table has three columns. The heading of the first column is secondary. Of the second one is annual hours. And finally, for the third column, the heading is annual periods. R1, annual hours 70, annual periods 84. R2, annual hours 70, Annual periods 84. R3. Annual hours 70. Annual periods 84. Mathematics. Maths. Annual hours 135. Annual periods 162. Science. Annual hours 135. Annual periods 162. Social science. SS Annual Hours 125 Annual Periods 150 Interdisciplinary Area IDA Annual Hours 125 Annual Periods 150 Art Education Art Annual Hours 115 Annual Periods 138 Physical Education PE Annual hours 90, annual periods 108. Vocational education VE, annual hours 110, annual periods 132. Number of classes in each subject on the illustrative timetable. Please refer to table 4.46 matches these numbers approximately. You were just listening to the National Curriculum Framework 2023. This is brought to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.